Okay, we'll see how this goes. What do we have today? We've got a box of Cryptozoic Ghostbusters trading cards. And these were released in 2016. Open them up for you. Right here, you can experience all the all the excitement, all the thrills along with me. If I can even open it. I'm trying to be delicate here. For no particular reason. begin, shall we? I have no idea what any of the inserts are other than I know there are autographs and sketch cards. Now you know what I know. Well, I think there are patch cards of some kind. Signature. Annie Potts. There you go. Ghostbusters, what do you want? Nice. So we have our handy dandy little sleeve here. That's a nice one. We have many more packs to go. Oh, this is cool. Authentic animation cell. Dr. Peter Venkman. Now you wonder where that came from. Because it's <laughs> it's rather small. You have to think, okay, if this was uh, used in the production of the cartoon, that had to be a background shot or some sort of long shot where they're all running as a group. <laughs> That's a cool one. I should probably be sorting these as I go, but you know. An interesting foil card. I bought this box um, online because I saw it at a discounted rate. And I thought, well, that'd be fun. The, um, some of the better autographs included were um, 
Annie Potts, of course. Um, Dan Aykroyd was probably the biggest, I think, in there. Um, Ernie Hudson. Maybe uh, Ivan Reitman, I don't recall. Of course, no Bill Murray or uh, Sigourney Weaver, but you know. I'm sure they're far too busy with their fabulous Hollywood lives that the rest of us can only dream of. Cruising right through these. I'm saying, are you looking for anything in particular? Well, no, since I got that autograph right off the bat. Maybe a sketch card. I don't even know what's guaranteed in these boxes, if anything. I like this retro design they've got from a little callback to the old Tops cards. I'm assuming that's one of the insert sets. Terror Dog at the party. You're saying, well, this is the most uninformative video about cards we've yet to see. Hey, you know, you get what you pay for in life. Name is Zool. There's no Dana on the Zool. I'm not even certain if I'm keeping these in frame. I have the most uh, <laughs> ridiculous setup right now for the camera. It's it's painful. I'm hovering over it, actually. My friend built me a very fancy, exciting rig. Um, I was unfortunately unable to use it due to the fact that my phone is so old and small that it didn't fit into the clip. So, I'm working on that. New phone that is. Gozer transcends. So, we're down to three packs, our last three. All right, kids, something good's going to happen. Do you feel it? No? Ah, sketch card. Awesome. Here we go. Alan Wayne. I can not quite make out that last name. I'll be looking that one up online, but that's a nice little Slimer sketch, isn't it? It's adorable. Okay, put that on there. That one's going in a sleeve. Last two packs, or three, I think I miscounted them. These foil cards are really cool, if you're into that sort of thing. Some type of, it's like some sort of graffiti art catchphrase. 
type of thing. Insert. If I'd done my homework and really wanted to impress you, I would have, you know, read all about the set and all the inserts and what was included. And Where's the fun in that, though? Please. What am I, a lecture? <laughs> this isn't a college lecture. I'm not a professor. That would be an awesome class, though, wouldn't it? Trading Cards 101. He slimed me. And it's foil, too. And there you have it, folks. That was the whole box Cryptozoics Ghostbusters trading cards. I thought that was a pretty good box. I was not disappointed. If you were, we have only yourself to blame. So, our big hits were a Slimer sketch card, some Peter Bateman animation cell, and of course our Annie Potts autograph card. So, not too shabby. I hope you guys had fun. I did. Tune in next time when I'll be opening, oh, who knows what wonders might await us. We've got, it's a, oh, it could be Star Trek. It could be more Star Trek. Uh, still more Star Trek? I mean, I got a lot of Star Trek boxes sitting around here just waiting to be open. And you never know what you might find in there. I'm still holding out for a Leonard Nimoy autograph, so wish me luck. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.